Hello YouTube! Yes, it's still the same session as last time. Remember when I told you to fuck off? Mmm, exciting stuff, eh? Uh, right, where were we? I've just gone to the toilet, and apparently the only thing keeping my mind focused on anything was the pressure in my bladder. So I'm going to have to remember what I was doing. We've just traded with these guys, haven't we? Um, we're making a barracks here for five people. Do I have enough beds? Nope, just the one. But okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Maybe I have some doors. Let's build some doors. Nope, we don't have any doors. Apparently my manager has failed to pass on the order. Although that could be due to the fact that he doesn't have an office and needs one. So maybe I should just pop a little up and build a little office here. Just for the sake of getting him cracking. Should I? Next to the trading place? I mean, he's also the broker, so it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to make an office right next to the trading post. And I'm going to make it reasonably large, just to make him happy with his office. Is that good? That looks good to me. And then we can uh, close it off the door, put a table and chair in there, and bingo, bango, away we go. Bingly, bangly, bongly. Lock doors. Uh, I would like some more chairs, please. Actually, I'd make a table and a chair. That should do the business. Get us cracking. Get us working. Get everything rolling along nicely. Okay, so far, so good. Have I made any... Has anybody spotted any major blunders that I need to rectify? Or um, are we are we doing okay? I mean, already being on to making the new fortress is uh, pretty impressive in my book. Why has everything gone so quiet? Oh, I know why. I haven't got my headphones plugged in. <laughs> that explains a lot. Let me... Ah, there we go. Now I can hear the music. That's better. Okay, so where are we? Uh, still got some stuff to be dug out. Why are my miners not digging? You're having a party, are you? Enjoying yourselves in the dining hall? Actually, I don't see them in there. Where are they? Oh, God, don't tell me they've gone AWOL. That's the last thing we need. AWOL miners. Ugh. Okay, let me quickly open up Dwarf Therapist and take a peek at what's going on. How about we do a read? Got two miners, and they're both currently. Uh, one's digging and one's eating. I don't see any digging going on. Where's the digging? Surely, if there was some digging going on, I would see, you know, expanded dugout areas, but I do not. And this is the only area I've told anyone to dig, so. Huh. Huh. Oh, hello there, Firehawk. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Sorry to lean in like that to read your name, but uh, as other people have suffered previously today, your name is black on, oh, sorry, blue on black, making it very difficult to read. But thanks for joining us. And um, yes, I am a disembodied floating head. Not always, just on Fridays and Mondays when I do my scheduled streams. I mean, on an off schedule stream, I'm just a disembodied voice, which is, some might argue, better. Then again, maybe they wouldn't. Oh, hang on a minute, what? Oh yeah, shit, I dug out a load of stuff down here, didn't I? What was this meant to be? Oh, that was it, um, our stone storage area. So P, S, let's get those idlers working. Make some stone stockpiles down here, just to make sure we've got plenty locally to be used, bang. And then I'll build a mason's, that's, that's a burial receptacle. I want a workshop, mason's workshop, and we'll pop it down here. But I'm also going to make a craft store workshop and stick that in there. And I'm also going to make a mechanics workshop. Where's the mechanics workshop? T. There we go. Mechanic. Let's put him there. Is there anything else that needs stone? Um, I don't think there's any other workshops that are particularly singularly stone based, is there? Are there? No, I think we're good for now on that front. Let the time continue, get them to build that, and we should be good. We should be good. Uh, can be worse or better. Hadn't enough fort which made it past the third year. Mm, I don't think I've ever made it that far past any of those. I, I, all of my fortresses have gone out of control fairly quickly, in my opinion. In my opinion. 
the poorest dwarf kith ship where as they were two months to slow the setup of the weapon traps to prevent the first siege in terms of timing yeah you do need to get your, um, your traps up fairly quickly that's a good point i may once my mechanics workshop is up and running get some lovely oh, i've done it again haven't i I've put the uh, trade outpost really deep into the fucking fortress so we can't put any traps before it. Ah, disaster. Disaster. Hello again, Silverlight42. Welcome back to the stream. Thank you very much for joining us again. And I have been digging. This is a whole new fortress in the latest version of um, Dwarf Fortress that is supported by the Lazy Noob Pack. Have I got any more doors? Yep, let's put a door on that office. Door on the military room that's all good have i got a table no nope, that's not what we want bt there's a table bingo and here is a chair bango cool once they're placed we'll turn that into an office for our manager slash um trader slash pretty much every man can i make more beds yes i can bed four bed five right we now have suitable space for the military should i put more doors here probably probably a good idea right Oh, we don't have any doors. Ah, disaster. Disaster. Had to seal the inner fort from the out seal the inner fort from the outside for a year. Bloody hell. I mean, I don't think I've ever made a fortress that could survive being sealed off from the outside for a year. That seems a little bit uh Yeah. I do need to uh, make some more defences. So, um, well, I haven't really got mechanics for traps. So, maybe we start making some blocks. We we'll start repeating a block order, and I'm going to start building some walls. Maybe. Can I do that? Can I build some nice protective walls? Let me zoom out a bit so we get a bit of a better idea of the lay of the land. If we go up a floor. Uh, it's actually going to be pretty difficult, isn't it, to wall this area off effectively. I mean, I could just build walls along here to raise the level, but... Nah. It's not going to work, is it? Go down. There we go. A colony of termites. Huh. I wasn't expecting to see that. That's interesting. Oh, well, hello. What's going on? Why have we got miasma? I'm going to make a dump zone. Uh, if I press R... No, sorry, I, excuse me, burping all over the place. Roger Paisani, just extend the entrance outwards and put traps there. I want to, but then caravans can't get past. So that's um, difficult, a bit awkward. And McVeynor, is there a way to penetrate an aquifer layer? When you say aquifer, is that a misspelled aquifer or do you mean like a magma sea? Because I believe there is a way to do both. Uh, it's the same method, whereby you kind of dig out like a big column of stone. Obviously, it has to be lava proof for, to go through lava, uh, with just um, a single layer supporting it at the top. And then you channel around the top so the whole thing drops down into the lava, and then you dig through the column that you've dropped into the lava, if you see what I mean. That's about the best I, I can explain it, I think. Let's skip out. Uh, I love to dig out three by three by three chamber and put three levels, one wide, layered runway. Okay. Uh, oh, we could do a um, a drawbridge pit, couldn't we? We could do a drawbridge pit. Yeah, that might be interesting. Ah, oh, I thought it might have been misspelled. Yes, you can. You can do an aquifer layer, and it's it's essentially you you create a column of stone supported only at the top by one layer and then channel it out and drop down dig through that that's the theory i've never done it i've never even given it a try to be frank uh right what was i doing i was making a refuse pile wasn't i i'll look back at chat in a second don't worry give me a minute for goodness sake there we go and that is a d garbage dump lovely hopefully that will result in whatever's stinking the place up being removed oh it'll be that dead Whatever it is. Water buffalo. Oh, damn it. Skeleton. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. It has decomposed. Decomposed quite a way. So X long and three wide and three deep. Um, hang on a minute. I've got to get back into the... 
got to get back into the swing of what you were talking about, Rice. Bear with me one moment. Three by three by chamber, put three levels, one wide, layered runway, full with weapon traps. Okay. Oh, wait, what, so what you're saying is... All right, let me give me a second to think about this. So you're saying a corridor. I've got a corridor with like a, a, a trap, a, a flat low layer, and then ben beneath it, we put a trap corridor, and then we have a bridge that goes over the top. So when it's closed, nobody has to go through the traps, and when it's open, everyone has to go through the traps. Or am I mis misreading that? Am I misreading that? I too tend to avoid such advanced techniques. The most advanced thing will be playing with floodgates and directing water where I like. Oh god, that's pretty advanced. I mean, my frame rate has had a beating from that before. You could sacrifice the safety of merchants by putting the depot on the outside perimeter. That way you can place traps. That's a good idea and that might actually make a lot of sense. Is the chamber with one floor tile wide away from the south? It's a north staircase. Uh, back to south again, staircase. Hang on, let me have a look at the old... Uh, left and right. I'll check that out later on. I'll check that later on. Because we're getting close to the end of the stream now and uh, I'm going to have to uh, try and make some rationalizations here to get things going. Military especially. That, let's deal with that immediately. Uh, we are going to move the trade depot outside. That's my plan. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the trade depot here. In fact, I'm going to designate the digging for that immediately. Uh, one, two, three... And then we put the trade depot there, and then we can trap the shit out of this corridor and make it a, terror, a truly terrifying gauntlet for our enemies. How's that sound? I'm, I'm positively tingling at the thought. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That should be about right, shouldn't it? There we go. That's going to work better. And then we can turn this into... I don't know. Shopping centre? Pub? It's a bit small for a pub. Let's let things get carrying on. Let's let things carry on. Uh, have I built... I should probably go down to my new industrial zone and set a hotkey for it, right? That makes a lot of sense. So let's just go up here to get it all on screen. Uh, H. Nope. Shift H. Go down to hotkey 2. Z for zoom. I would like to name it... Uh, work... Actually, W-R-K-S-H-P. Workshop. Workshops. Enter. Escape. So if I press F1, we go here. F2, we go here. Lovely. Okay. Mechanics Workshop has not been built, so we need someone to be a mechanic. But sadly, we're about to draft almost everybody who's come to our civilization into the military, which is going to be awkward. Ah, add a new task. Uh, bone. B. Uh, make bone crafts. B. And then repeat it and then we'll add decorate with bone shift b ah there we go and this is where i find out we have no bone although we do have a legendary bone crafter so mm, lovely craft that bone Four. <laughs> sorry i'm just i'm just coming up with um, sexy puns for bone craft and I, and I i realize now that this is not the forum to be putting out your sex puns keep your sex puns sheathed sir Keep them to yourself. Right, let's make this a throne room or study. There we go. And we'll assign the chair to... Who are we assigning this to? Um, expedition leader? I think that's the one, isn't it? There we go. Bang. Now we've got an office. Lovely. Just what we need. A tavern would solve the military issue. Ah, oh, would it? Uh-oh, Clinadev is saying, oh dear. That means I've made some kind of blunder I assume but I don't know what the blunder is uh, where was I? Military? Military, that was it wasn't it um, so let's look at the noble screen you've got your requirements you've got all these requirements as well uh, militia commander that's our first person right only Lan oh, we can't make Lanisserus the doctor, the bloody militia commander. That's insane. Let me quickly look up the dwarves who've just arrived. Uh, right, we've got uh, Bim, Kuletabal, Dastot, Fikod, Law, and Moral. 
Uh, they can all be sent into the military. I can't use Dwarf Therapist to put people in the military, can I? Damn. Okay, so the first person we want is Bim something or other. This one. There we go. Well, just by sheer... Wait a second. Actually, let's be a little bit more discerning. Just a little bit more discerning. I'm going to put Dwarf Therapist on, and we're going to go and look at the military skills. That makes sense, right? Military skills. Okay, is anybody in this... Oh, someone's turned up with a kill. And it's our legendary dude. Legendary Bone Crafter. Hang on a minute, he killed a dwarf. <gasps> He's a fucking murder fugitive. Uh-oh. Well, let's see what wacky japes they get up to. Let's have a quick look at him. Within the last week, he felt uneasiness after being unable to pray for too long. Why can't you pray? Uh-oh. This guy seems like he might be a bit of a nutcase. Um, friendly individual, easily moved to mercy. He's not that nutty. Yeah. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Taverns attract mercenaries, and they can serve in the military, but not as a militia captain. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know you could make them serve in the military. Okay. Well, to be honest, we don't have anybody here who's particularly great. I mean, we could use Dastot with the highest strength. Does that make sense? Hmm. We need a temple. Oh my god, I've not put in any... I've not. I've only dabbled with taverns. I've never put a temple in or anything like that. I mean, I know I've bought books. We could make a library, I suppose. We could make ourselves a, 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 little, a little library. Un libraire. But for now, mission, mission, uh, the militia commander will have to be old Bim, because... Um, we just got to get a militia made. So there you go. Well done. You've lucked out. You've made yourself the militia commander. Right, let's go to the military screen. Create a squad. Uh, no uniform for now. And we need to add in... Who are my other uh, guys? Dastot, Fickod, Law and Moral. So where's Dastot? Dastot, Dastot. Then Law, Fickod and Moral. Okay. There we go. That's that wave of people. They're all in here. We're now going to put doors on. Build door there and there. And that means we can turn this into a bedroom. Size it up nicely. Make it a barracks. Good stuff. And then, can I use my um, manager yet? Uh, J M Q. Yeah. Okay, uh, so I want arm... Marax stand, armor stand, uh, wooden armor stand. There we go. What? 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 No, that's not what I want. That's. Damn it! <sighs> Down to the wooden armor stand. There we go. What I want? I want five of those, please. And then I also want a, a weapon rack, don't I? Uh, Q R A C K. Uh, wooden weapon rack, rock weapon rack. Let's have a rock weapon rack. Why not? I'll have five of those, please. There we go. And hopefully they'll come out soon. We'll be able to stick them in there. Okay. Uh, ooh, I wonder if he's a legendary bone crafter from a fell mood. Oh, okay. Is that the, the kind of the bad kind of um, uh, mood, <laughs> for want of a better word? Be sure to check the wiki. They expanded the game quite a bit. Okay, okay. Well, my hope was to kind of blindly flail like a Shoggoth and uh, try and learn it that way <laughs> with uh, the aid of chat. But maybe that's a bit of a mad dream. Maybe I should be reading the wiki. But yeah, general purpose temples, temples are very useful for reducing stress. And if you're playing 4th 4.10, that's a, an issue again. Okay. The first time, what happened to the first time you saw a fell mood, Silverlight? Tell us more. Uh, what I think I'll do is when we've moved the um, thingy down here, the trading depot, maybe I'll make this a temple. How do we make a temple? What's what's the deal? Is it just statues or something? Ha! Huh. Intriguing. Why you know build? Oh, I know why you know build. Because the mason's busy upstairs, isn't he? Ah, uh, disaster. Disaster. Well, we can dig out more space down here. Oh, actually, let's let's wait a second before we do that. Let's let this area get dug out, and then we can disband the trading. Actually, we can do that now, can't we? 
uh, X, remove building. Bang, there we go. And then we should be able to put one in here relatively quickly. Fell moods are when they go and slaughter a friend and make an artifact from a corpse. Oh my, oh my goodness. Sounds quite, uh, quite brutal. But also a bit of fun with a capital F. Uh, build a trade depot. And if you wouldn't mind, place it down here. There we go. Good, good, good. Made out of basalt again. Lovely. Now, if that could just get removed, I'd be very chuffed. Um, the orders stay if I remove the building, don't they? So if I just slate that for removal, the guy will go downstairs and move his orders down there. Fingers crossed. Maybe not. If they evade from the higher floor traps, they may fall down and have to run the whole way again. Ah. Let me have a quick peek. Quick peek. I am going to have to read that more carefully. I'll bookmark that. I'll bookmark that, Rice, and um, I will come back to it. I, I can't easily parse the, uh, the ASCII art... Um, drawings i've been i've been numbed by these uh, graphics packs unfortunately i'm a fool oh more messages below it says oh there we go they had to be profoundly unhappy though so they've been almost impossible to get from july 2014 to a week ago with 4410 <laughs> okay well i suppose if, i like the idea of film i've always liked the idea of making stuff out of your enemy's body parts and things i mean not in not in real life obviously but in terms of a dwarf fortress thing it seems pretty cool i like the idea of like goblin skulls and you know artifacts made out of these kind of things and again if anyone knows how to make a temple i'm considering making this into a little tiny temple we can always dig it out a bit at the back can't we and push it through uh, traps need to be made as well, don't they? Um, B, capital T, stonefall traps we can make without um, mechanisms, but everything else needs a mechanism, doesn't it? I mean, personally, I favour cage traps. And then the whole pit and force to fight scenario. Oh, I didn't make my militia do anything, did I? Uh, go back to the military screen. Uh, and what do we do? We need to make a schedule. And I would say the schedule is month on month off training. Is that, do you like that? I quite like that. Let's uh, cancel that order then. Do it all the way down. Every other month, no scheduled order, so they get to do stuff. That looks good enough for now. Let that go, let that go. So have we got any armor stands? Yes, we have. So we'll pop those there. Good, and weapon racks. What's the hotkey for those weapon rack? R. Oh. Okay, I haven't built those yet, but they'll come. They'll come, don't worry. Nobody panic. Everybody stay calm. Everybody just breathe easy. Or use a Wim Hof huff. <sighs> there we go. That almost worked. Not as effective as previously, unfortunately, but... Uh, did open up the nostrils somewhat. Right, now we can dig out more workshops. And I'm thinking next door we make our wooden workshops, of course. So we dig out like that. We make some wooden storage and bish bash bosh. Doop, 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 doop. There we go. So that's going to be wood storage. And then maybe this side we start storing all the stuff that gets made. Well, maybe I dig out over here. Actually, no. I, uh, to dig over there, I want to make all my magma stuff, don't I? I think. Temples are made from a meeting zone. Okay. You need to designate the zone, but I don't know the whole process. I really recommend checking the wiki. Uh, I may not have used the proper letters to illustrate it either. Just an addition to think about if you can seal off the main entrance, layered with bridges to define outer, middle, and inner section of your fort. Definitely that is something I would like to do, Rice. I'm looking... At that as a um, as a goal but uh, of course we have to remember you have to take into account my savage level of incompetence <laughs> savage so uh, any meeting zone let's go up to the surface uh, and what can I do to make it can you just you can't just insert a meeting zone can you that's that's crazy talk that's nutty times or can you 
I think you can you can only do it from a, a dining room, can't you? Is a dining room the only type of meeting room? I for a zone, M to toggle. Oh, you can just make a straight up meeting zone zone. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, Sanctum Spirits. Sanct Sanctum Spirit Stone with an E in the middle. Sanctum Spirit Stone. I, I, I'm having trouble reading your name because it's blue on black text. You're, you're one of those people, are you? But only this session. Next time you'll turn up, your text will be a different colour. There's no magic furniture, but they work better with containers for musical instruments, supposedly. I rarely bother. Okay. Uh, you use the same tool to zone a pasture. Okay. Sanctum. Okay. Okay. I, I will I will bear that in mind, Sanctum Spirit Stone. Uh, let them pray for each god. Right. I am going to set the zone. Set the zone. Here we go. Bingo, bango. Bosh. And now... It's a meeting area, and we're going to assign a location. I have not designated any locations. Do it here. Taverns, temples, add a location. We're going to add a temple. There we go. Uh, oh my goodness. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different gods. Can I... Okay, five worshippers. Fortresses, mountains, caverns. Wealth and jewels, earth, volcanoes, fire, the sun, day. It might be good to have someone worshipping a volcano. Uh, murder? Murder. Murder. It looks like we're going to have uh, a murder god being worshipped, maybe. Theft and trickery. Nightmares and the night. What is this? Fallow, war, chaos. These gods are all for shit things. I want a god who's a god of smiles and hand jobs. Where's that god? My God, that's a bit of a broad portfolio, isn't it? Why would there need to be a god of hand jobs as well? Okay. And if it's a god, I'm aiming low there. Why go for a hand job? Go for something a bit more, you know, a bit more sex. <laughs> what are you talking about? The seasons, lakes, fish, oceans, the weather, writing, fame and gambling. Oh my goodness. Family and rebirth and death. Oh, you sound like an exciting fucking god. Um... I mean, no specific deity has... Okay, what I'm going to do... Generic. You're saying generic, I'm I'm going to go generic. So no specific deity, bang, great. And then maybe later on we'll add specific deity um, temples and such. Uh, I'm going to make some statues to put in here, maybe. Maybe? Let's get the, uh, let's get the mason working. Uh, J-M-Q... Statue. Uh, I would like stone statues, if possible. Rock statue. There we go. Could you give me just say four, one for each corner of the uh, of the thingy? There we go. Sounds good to me. Good. Right back down to the industrial zone. They're still digging out. I do want to make some more stockpiles because we've got a lot of crap just hanging around outside. So that's a problem. That sounds like something you'd leave for later but never end up doing. That's almost everything. Everything I leave for later, I never end up doing. Yes, that makes sense, uh, Roger Pais Roger Paisani? Let's call you Roger. That makes sense, Roger. Yes. Uh, yeah, using the temple for everybody makes a lot more sense because you don't want it to be an exclusive affair. Don't smack the pop shield around. Come on, scoundrel. Get with the program. You're supposed to be, uh, you're supposed to be a pro. <laughs> Hardly. My god, I emptied out this big old uh, tub of um, sherbet earlier so I could have a lovely snacky snack snack while I streamed. Have I touched it? Barely. Let's have a little... Mmm. 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 That's very nice. We're saving anyway. I'm not missing anything by uh, chowing down on this. Mm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Lovely stuff. Let me uh, go back up to the surface, seeing as we haven't actually got any space to put new stockpiles in. Um, the proto fort's doing okay. Um, do I want to dig out a straight up lethal pit? It's got to be 20 deep, hasn't it? I should probably. I'm going to save my traps and stuff for next time uh, and give. Um, Give the suggested things that come up in chat a little bit of a, of a read over, a read through, because um, right now I feel like if I, if I go into this at quarter past two in the morning trying to uh, make complex traps or defences, 
I'm going to screw it up and I'm going to be kicking myself when my fortress has just, you know, got that unsightly flaw in it. Are these guys actually doing any training? Ah, oh, actually, you've got to change it so that they'll train with less people, don't you? Um, schedule. Train. Uh, where's the thing? It says minimum. Train. Ten minimum. Well, there's only five people in the bloody thing. So, edit order. Plus minus. Uh, let's say we only need two to train minimum. Shift and enter. Done. Okay, and then how do I copy that order? It's C? Yeah, baby. And then P for paste. Yeah, P paste. P paste. P paste. P paste. P paste. There we go. Good. That's going to work better, isn't it? Your new trade depot appears stuck. That's a good point. Construction is suspended. Why? Right, there we go. Let's see if that works. Now. Oh, shit! Smacking the pop shield around like mad. Calm down, scoundrel, calm down. You're kicking your dwarves and they cheer for it. They're quite passive with 4409. Okay, but we'll see how it works out. We'll see how it works out. Maybe they'll be ecstatic. Maybe they won't. Maybe my dwarves will be happy little dwarves. Maybe they won't. And I'm guessing the, the latter's more likely, right? Hamster remains. Surely that involves some bones. That means bone guy can start crafting, right? Let's see if that works. Crafts Dwarf Workshop, I want uh, bone... Bone crafts, there we go. That'll do. Jeez, these miners are taking forever to dig this out, aren't they? I should have changed the priority. I should have made... Uh, I should have made that higher priority. And then let them dig out the storage rooms later on. Ah, uh, well... Oh well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a gem stockpile and I'm just going to stick it in the corridor here because frankly we want to get them all in one place. I'll get rid of it sooner rather than later. We do need to make some bins as well, don't we? Have I got enough wood? Have I got wood? I've got wood. Lovely. Who doesn't love having a bit of wood to hand? Uh, Carpenter's Workshop. Could uh, In fact, don't go into the workshop. Do it properly. Start learning how to use the bloody manager because I've Spent far too long not using it properly. Right, let's make some bins. Wooden bins, ideally. You can't make rock bins, can you? I don't think you can. No, you can't. So I want wooden bins. And let's say, give me, like, 25 of those. So that should be enough, right? Fingers crossed. Oh, hang on. Someone's praying to Nogcol. Did, did you see that? Um, uh, is it A? Can't have been A, can it? Oh, what button did I press? Ah, fuck it. Never mind, missed it. Uh, so, uh, total distraction. Wooden bins, that's good. Um, what in the hell was I supposed to be doing? Oh man, I completely derailed myself. It's because it's so damn late. Speaking of lateness, those of you watching the YouTube recording, I've been going for half an hour. And you know what? I'm just going to let it run. <laughs> I'm just going to let it run for a bit because uh, I'm not sure I'm going to make another half hour. So we'll let it ride for now. Seems like a sensible move, doesn't it? Or does it? Does that sound like pure blistering insanity to you? I don't know. I can't tell the difference between insanity and sanity anymore. Not at this time in the night. Uh, can we make these weapon racks now? Build... Ah, oh, there we go, we've got them. Oh, I've only got three of the bastards, though. Still, we're getting there. We're getting there. Needs masonry. Ah, oh, my mason's busy. Um, can I get him to stop masoning for a minute? Come on, Meng. Take a break. Doors, weapon racks and statues. Let's let him carry on working for now. I'm sure another mason will turn up and get that built. Oh, he says, knowing that that's unlikely. I'm just going to switch over to Dwarf Therapist and see if anyone else has masonry. No, no one else has masonry. So find someone who's not currently being used as a mason and make them do it. How about this peasant? Nah, not the peasant. I'm going to make the um, bonesmith be a mason temporarily. Let's do it. Got to remember to get rid of that though, because otherwise 
we're going to end up with all manner of troubles. Uh, back up to the first floor. Let's hope that he comes along and fixes this as soon as possible. Come on, somebody make the trade post. We haven't got one at the moment. If anyone turns up, what the hell's that thing? I could have sworn I just saw a crab. Maybe it was a crab, who knows? Oh, hang on a minute, we've run out of plump helmet seeds. Why? Can you guys just not manage plump helmets on your own? Just for once. Please. Plus no cook plump helmet. There's still no fruit as well. Why haven't we got any freaking fruit? We should have buttloads. Oh my god, all the water's frozen. Cue billions of notifications about dwarves dying of thirst. Come on. Build the trade depot, people. Please. Please. Nope. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The trade depot is getting constructed. Finally. Whew. How long ago did somebody point that out? Absolutely bloody ages ago. But hey, we got it done eventually. Hey, we did it, people. We did it. Okay, right, pause. Uh, so, I'm actually going to designate another set of rooms to dig out. Let's just keep our guys busy. That is going to be... Well, I haven't really thought about it yet, so... Let's try again. Good lad, well done. Okay. Um, so, yeah, there's our wood. Maybe I won't actually make this wood. This bit here. What do we reckon? Um, so I've got my stone stockpiles, that's good. I mean, it does make sense to put a carpenter in another craft store workshop here, doesn't it? Uh, B, W, C, there's our carpenter's workshop up in the corner. Bang, and then give me a craft store workshop as what? Oh, it is placed, don't worry, I thought it hadn't placed. Obsidian, an obsidian crafts dwarf workshop. Very fancy, very fancy indeed. Who doesn't love a bit of volcanic glass? And then P, W, let's make our nice wood stockpile. Screw press, no, no. P, W, there we go, that's better. That can go there, Bosch, and there, bubble Bosch. That's good. Bringing the wood up to here, and then this area here will make something else. Probably a mixture of stuff. I'll put the cloth and leather, uh, and the gems maybe, that should be good. Good to see the bins are getting done. We don't have anyone with mechanics. Should I just give someone a mechanics skill? You know what? I might do that. Not the carpenter though, or the mason, or the miners, or the herbalist. Maybe the doctor? Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I've got a bad case of no mechanics. Okay, Lenoceros, you're doubling up as a mechanic. So there you go. you got to live with it. Deal with it. Let me have a quick sip of water. That might help my nose a bit. Excuse me. Oh, that water's been sitting there for so long now. It's gone a bit, a bit stale. It's been sitting there for three and a half hours. No wonder it's gone a bit stale. Come on, diggy diggy. Dig me out some holes, plus. Plus. Plus dig out. Plus. You know what, seeing as I'm saying plus, I'm going to put my uh, plus emote in chat to try and entice some people into uh, using their Amazon Prime subs. Look at that. That's, that's pro level strats there, just in case you're wondering. I may not be a pro level Dwarf Fortress player, but I am a pro level shill for myself and anybody who pays me. Speaking of which, visit Tacoma Games in Washington State. There we go. That's somewhat of a, uh, a brutal, short advertisement, but uh, I feel it got the message across. It worked a bit. Right, we can build some workshops in here now. Uh, I would like to build a jeweler's workshop. That's going to be handy. That can go in the corner there. Bonk, also made out of obsidian. Seems more apt, though, I think. Uh, what else can we put in there? Another Craftsdorf workshop? I mean, you can never have too many Crafts Dwarf workshops, can you? You always need a spare one for someone to claim if they go a bit nutty. Uh, Leatherworks... That's... Is that the same as a Tanner's? That's not. Okay, I'm going to make a Leatherworks. I'm going to put that in here. 
And we're going to make a clothier's shop. Is that K? K, there we go. Clothier's shop. We're going to make that there. And then, do I want a loom in here as well? Could be fun. Yeah, let's put a loom in. Let's put a loom in. One there. Good. An obsidian loom. And then, is there anything else? I'm not doing tanning down here. That seems like a fool's errand. Um, I think that's good for now. I mean, I could put a dyer's shop in, but I really don't know anything about those or how they work. Oh, excuse me. Big yawns. Hello, uh, Cease of Morality. How long have I been playing on this particular session? Uh, 3 hours, 39 minutes and 28 seconds. In general, I've probably been playing Dwarf Fortress uh, on and off, mostly off. Uh, obviously, you, you can't. It's not. You can't play it as the only game constantly for years. My God! But uh, every time there's been a major update, I've given it a little tickle. Since it went from just being a single Z level uh, to being multiple Z levels, so that was when I. That was my first. Um, my first version, where it, the one where it switched from just being on a single floor. Am I playing on Windows or what utilities do you use? Dwarf Therapist and Watch House and what tile set? Um, uh, at the moment I am using, bear with me one moment, I'll get up Dwarf Therapist and have a, not Dwarf Therapist, uh, the Lazy Noob Pack and have a look. I am using, graphics wise I'm using Phobos, uh, merely by accident. It's just the one I happen to have been... I used to use Iron Hand all the time, but now I'm using Phobos all the time. Um, what else did you want to know? Uh, I'm using Windows 10. Um, and what utilities do I use? Normally I use SoundSense, but because this is just a fresh uh, unpack of the Lazy Noob Pack, it hasn't been set up and, and got all the sounds ready, so I thought I'd just go with Vanilla Sound for now. Um, other than that, I don't really use much else. Dwarf Therapist and SoundSense. Everything else I've never really dabbled with. It's been all it's been all hunky dory without using them. But if anyone's got any hot recommends, uh, feel free to put them forward in chat. Right, let's make a stockpile for leather now. L, there we go. Uh, and I'm going to make that stockpile about that big. Let's make a cloth stockpile which is H, not C. Of course it's not C. C would be custom stockpile. Okay. There we go. There's our cloth stockpile. Uh, then we also need a gem stockpile of suitable size which can go... Oh shit, there's already a thingy in the way. Uh, oh, sell down, sell down. E. Oh my god. <laughs> stockpile. E, gem stockpile, there we go. Uh, that can go just along here actually, let's do that. There we go, nice gem stockpile. Uh, what other kind of stockpiles can we put in there? Got cloth. Weapons might be a good one to put in. P, we'll put a weapon stockpile in. We'll put that in down the bottom here. Oops, there we go. That should get some of my spike balls out of the way. What other stockpiles can we have? Uh, armor, haven't got any armor at the moment. I don't think we've got any sheets. Bars and blocks. Or well, I am going to do a big one down here for bars and blocks. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. Beautiful. I can't believe we're already on Crypt Beards 9. I mean, for goodness sake, how many of these will there be in the end, I wonder? I'm, I'm, I'm hoping we get to our Crypt Beards 100. That would be interesting. I wonder what Dwarf Fortress will look like by then. Probably be significantly different. I mean, it will be significantly different by Crypt Beards 10 and 11, to be honest. It's not what you call the most static game in the world. It's got quite a dynamic development process. It's kind of the, the prototype early access game, really, isn't it? It's like the very first... Well, the first game I'm aware of that took that route. Like being kind of available before being finished. Then again, they reckon this is going to take at least 20 years, probably longer, to make. And I'm all for that. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. Right, let's make rock mechanisms on repeat. Because, you know, they're handy to have. Especially vis-a-vis -vis the use of them in traps. Oh, I'm going to get rid of this stockpile here, because now it's in the way. 
it's going to be a, a bit of a silly one to keep so au revoir nod if I put the pack with TWBT I'll send you a message with the link included I included Phobos Therapist Sound Stents and the Legends Utilities you could just drop in your save file to upgrade it would be fussy with the one I put up the other day oh yeah man if you, if you want to give that a crack yeah I'm, I'm cool with that I'll do uh, I'll, so I could I can definitely put this fort straight into 4410 yeah if that's the case I'm, if you give me the instructions um, I'll give it a crack I'm quite happy to do that it's uh, having to do it off my own initiative that's a problem. I am <laughs> not excellent at that kind of thing. I mean, I can do it. I'm absolutely certain I could do it. It's just sitting down and working it out, you know? Right. Do we need more beds? No, I think we're good for beds, right? The loom's good. The Kraftstorff workshop's good. The jeweler's workshop's good. The clothier's shop is good. Add new task. Uh, You know what? I thought that was making clothes, not cloth. Oh, making it out of. I see. Making it out of. Right, okay. Ah, damn it. Let's leave that for now. We'll come back to making clothes later on when it becomes a pressing issue. We are going to have to segregate some of these bars. Because if all the bars and blocks end up going in here, we're going to have trouble, aren't we? We're going to end up with a big old storeroom filled with bricks and bars of metal. And they're all mixed in together. I like to have it all separated out. Maybe I should start thinking about my uh, my magma industries now. Actually, that's probably best left till next time, right? I mean, we're 46 minutes into this recording. <laughs> it's getting a bit bloaty already. But we're doing okay. We've got most of the stockpiles we need. Let's head up to the surface. Is there anything left? Crutches. What kind of stockpiles are they going? Buckets. I haven't got any finished goods and stuff like that, have I? Crikey. Let's get down here and get digging. Diggy. Diggy. Hole. Bump, bump, dump. Dim no, not there. Good lord. As if I'd want it there. What kind of madman would click like that? Me, apparently. Dip, dip, dip. There we go. Dinky, dinky, donkey. Enter, shift square. Bang. There we go. Oh, thank you very much. Much appreciated. The new raid feature. That's a, um, I haven't actually tried it out yet, have I? That was one of the things we were intending to do on this, but I have not yet left the fortress. Never done it. Never done it. Speaking of raids, though, if anybody knows somebody who deserves a raid at the end of um, at the end of this stream, which is not too far away, um, please feel free to make a suggestion. I'm happy to raid people um, as long as we all play nice. That is, give someone a few extra viewers. Is anyone else streaming Dwarf Fortress at the moment? That's a good question. Shall we uh, have a little look, see see if anyone is? Um, bear with me while I leave the uh, play the dangerous game of leaving it. Oh, Cupo streaming. Well, okay, right. That's, uh, when I finish the stream, I'll send everyone over to Cupo. If you want, if you want to see someone playing with some skill and some ability, this is the guy. I'm just a rambling idiot who's sitting there playing by the seat of my pants. This guy makes things that actually look cool. So we'll, we'll raid him afterwards. We'll give him a shout. Give him a little shout out as you do, as you do. Although, having said that, when I look at the screen now, that appears to be saying that I'm not streaming. Oh no, that's just the, that's just the channels I'm following. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Learn how to use Twitch, man. For God's sake, you've been streaming for nigh on six years. Ah, <sighs> dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm like the longest serving noob in the world. Okay, what was I going to put here? Um, we put most of our... Oh, storage. Storage, yes. So in here, I'm going to put finished goods. Stockpile... Uh, what's finished goods? G. Cool. That can all go in here. Oops, not too big. There we go. And then after that, once this is dug out, this can be furniture. Because furniture takes a lot of space up. Oh, and also, uh, Cease of Morality. Thank you very much for those bits. Much appreciated. It's very nice. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my. Beautiful. Let me guess. You watched an ad? They won't let me watch ads. No matter, no matter when I go, I look on my phone, I look on my desktop, no ads for you. No ads for Scoundrel. I've only got, I've got a hundred bits sitting there and I want to, just a few more, because uh, I want to drop them on a particular stream. But hey, what can you do? Other than just wait for it to work. Okay, we're building, someone's actually doing mechanics now, that's good. 
nothing's happening at the mason's workshop, which is a little worrying, because I could have sworn I put orders in. Apparently not. Okay. Intriguing. Oh, it looks like they've cleared out the uh, the old uh, temple. Yeah, look at that. Nearly done. Oh, I should have statues as well. Build statues. Aha, look at this. There we go. Two basalt and two obsidian. So we'll put the... Am I putting the basalt at the back? Ooh, hang on. Uh, no. There we go. Two basalts at the back, obsidians at the front. There we go. Let's get them placed and then we'll have a look at what they're of. It's always nice to look at the dwarf statues and figure out what we're looking at. No. I thought I heard a crying child, but apparently not. Let's try both ears. No, no, they're all asleep. They're all asleep. Don't panic, scoundrel. The kids aren't awake. God's sake. Such a panicker. Right, let's look at this statue. Make a sculpture garden. It's interesting. Combine temple and sculpture garden. But no, we're not doing that. Uh, I want to look at it. How do I do that then? Sure, there was a way, wasn't there? Press K. Obsidian statue. Enter. V. How do I do it? Is it Q? No. Huh. T. View items in buildings. View rooms. Shift R. View. Oh my god. I'm confused. I've never seen that screen before. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to see it again anytime soon. What the hell was that? Um, K is look. But why can't I... Uh... Ah, oh, hang on. Obsidian statue. Enter. V. I could have sworn you could look at the statues and tell what they were. Huh. Mayhaps not. Oh, here we go. Obsidian statue of Neko. There we go. And press enter to view it and V to figure it out. This is a superior quality obsidian statue of Nekol burial tunnels in the, the tomb, the, sorry, the tombs of shadow. The item is a superiorly designed image of Nekol burial tunnels in the tombs of shadow, the dusk crone in obsidian by Meng Nilolson. Nekol burial tunnels is the tombs, the tombs of shadow is trav, oh my god, I can't read, is travelling. The artwork relates to the wandering of the dusk crone Nekol burial tunnels, the tomb of shadow, in the incidental forests in the late spring of 21. Okay, I'm presuming that's the god of death and rebirth, right? Let's have a look at this one. V, what have we got here? This is an obsidian statue of Shis. The item is an image of Shis, the deity of chaos, war, and valor, depicted as a female dwarf and two dwarves in obsidian by Meng Nil Slosson. Shis is devouring the two dwarves. Oh my god, Shis. Shissy, Shissy, come on. Let's have a look at what we've got here. This is a superior quality basalt statue of Meli. The item is a superiorly designed image of Meli the Dusk Crone and Nithi Cat Control the Elf in basalt. Boo! Boo! Elves! By Meng Neil Solson. Nithi Cat Control is striking down Meli. Yay! Oh, wait, no. Boo! The artwork relates to the killing of the Dusk Crone Meli by the elf Nithi Cat Control in the Incidental Forests in 244. Boo, Meli, boo! There we go. That's just my opinion, though. Other opinions are available. Other opinions? Other opinions are available, of course. This is the internet. They are abundant. Uh, can I build my weapon racks now? Yeah, baby. There we go. Weapon racks. Do you need to make a training zone? Do I have to put a training zone in here? It's just... Oh, actually, I could, rather than making one here, I could just check out this zone and see if there's a training option. No, there's animal training. That's a good point, actually. Maybe I should make an animal training zone. Not that we have any trainable animals at the moment. Oh, we've got a puppy. Oh, it's a widow puppy. Oh. Menchie. Anyone familiar with them? It's an older series now. It's an older anime, but anyone familiar with Excel Saga? Oh, I loved that. That was really good. Haven't actually seen any parody anime that's actually been as good since. But hey, maybe that's just my failure. Finish good stockpile. Let's build a furniture stockpile now. Oh, we're getting there. 
we're getting there. Boom, boom, boom. Biddy, biddy, boom, boom, boom. There we go. Right, so we've got, we haven't got an animal stockpile. We've got furniture stockpile. We don't have a corpse stockpile. We've got stones, gems, cloth, not ammo. We've got finished goods, got weapons. Food, yes, coins, no. Refuse, no. Excuse my hiccuping and burping. Oh dear. Wood, yes. Bars and block, yes. Leather, yes. Sheets, no. Armour, no. Okay, we're doing okay. Doing okay. We're building kind of a decent start to a fortress, I think. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, I should probably put some cages on order. Ah, oh, no. We'll wait for cages later on. We'll wait for cages. We will wait for the cages. Okay, let's have a little look-see. Let's have a quick recap of the fortress. See what we have done and what there is still to do. Actually, I've been recording now for 55 minutes. So those of you watching on YouTube... There we go, I'm going to pause it. Thank you very much for doing so. It's been a pleasure recording for you, but I have to go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>